Lend me your ears for the next 12 minutes. Sustaining Stewardship's team, SSS, or triple S as you may call it. Sustaining the steam of stewardship. Now, this is very crucial and important for everyone called a steward. Whether you are going out, graduating from Covenant University, or you are moving from 100 level to 200 level or to 300 level, whatever level you are shifting grounds, we all need this grace. For sustainable stewardship steam. Not to let the fervency of our spirit go out. The truth is, many begin the journey of stewardship in the kingdom. Many begin. But many fall by the wayside. Many begin this adventure called stewardship. They start. Fire. But many fall by the wayside. So stewardship team simply means consistent faithfulness in stewardship. It means maintaining your consistency, your steadfastness in stewardship. Please listen to this and I think you should take note of this. Destiny answers to consistency of positive actions. Destiny answers to consistency of positive actions. You find many young people on fire when they're on campus. But the moment they graduate and they get into the real world, as we call it, the fire goes out. But destiny answers to consistency of positive actions. Actions. So the same way the fire is burning while you're on campus, it does not go out. It keeps burning even when you are out. First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 58. Be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work. That means the fire dimension of your still worship on campus should not go out. And this is specifically for those that are going out. You are graduating. You are getting to a new phase of life. Different experience. The covering, the atmosphere you had in Covenant University where you were forced to be in chapel. Now, no one will force you to go to church. The control of chaplaincy, student affairs, the leadership of the university, you may not have it anymore. So the strength of the foundation of each one of us will begin to speak. So as the pressures of life begin to come, only those that are standing strong will stand the test of time. All kinds will come your way to distract you. That's why we need sustainable stewardship steam. Not to let our fervency go out. Not to let... The passion driving us now to win. It's my prayer for every one of you. The fire that is burning in your heart will never go out. If you're shouting amen, shout it like a true believer. Those who start are many. Those who continue are few. But those who finish are scarce. Those who start are many, many, thousands. Those who continue are few. Many drop along the line. But those who truly finish, very scarce. Very scarce. But listen to me tonight. In this kingdom, it takes faithfulness to enjoy continuous change of levels. Faithfulness. Faithfulness and still worship. 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 1 and 2. 1 Corinthians 4, 1 and 2. Let a man so account of us as of ministers of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of the kingdom. And he says, moreover, verse 2 please, moreover, it is required in stewards that a man and a woman 
be found faithful. Be found faithful. Your stewardship's team should not go out. Rather, it should be on the increase. The fervency of your engagement should not be put out. You check all true scriptures. Men on fire for Christ or men on fire for God were the ones that kept changing levels upon levels upon levels. Check Joseph. Joseph maintained his faithfulness and he began to progress and advance in his leadership. Joseph was just an ordinary steward overseeing Potiphar's house, but his faithfulness did not wane. And for managing the house of Potiphar, he began to manage the prison, an institution. So he moved from a household to managing an institution, and yet he, became, he was more faithful. It was said of Joseph that everything that happened in the prison, Joseph was the doer of it. And he moved from managing an institution of prison to managing a nation. He became a prime minister. So the more faithful we are, the higher our experience of change of levels. You begin to move from one level to another level. You are advancing while others are retrogressing. You are progressing while they are stagnated. Why? Your faithfulness. I remember when we began in Covenant University, it was from floor reps, coordinators, and then you move to student uh, council, and then alumni executives, and then gradually, gradually, as long as faithfulness is maintained, there's no end to change of levels. For somebody here, you will gain speed. Come on, if you are saying amen, shout it like a believer. The reason why there are few distinguished people in the kingdom is because there are very few faithful stewards. There are very few distinguished people because there are very few faithful stewards. Very few. Psalm 12 and verse 1. For the faithful fail from among the children of men. The faithful fail because there are few. Proverbs 20 and verse 6, a faithful man who can find, who can find. Someone is asking, what does it mean to be faithful? Two quick definitions. It means to keep serving with conviction, commitment, and consistency. To keep serving with conviction, commitment, and consistency. In season and out of season. You are serving God with conviction. You don't need encouragement. You don't need persuasion. You are serving God with conviction, with commitment and consistency. In season and out of season. Number two, quickly. It is doing the will. Mind and pleasure of the master at all times. Doing the will, the mind, and the pleasure of the master, Christ himself, at all times. I've discovered that man's faithfulness will attract God's faithfulness. Man's faithfulness especially in stewardship, will attract God's faithfulness. So rather than pray, God, be faithful to your word in my life, you just be faithful in your own capacity. The faithfulness of man naturally attracts the faithfulness of God. Exodus 23, 25 down to 27. Ye shall serve, and the Lord takes over. He begins to bless your bread and your water. I love the way the associate chaplain said he will provide the bread because for him to bless it, he has to provide it. That means you will never lack bread and water. You will never lack. He will take sickness away from the midst of thee. The number of your days he will fulfill. Come on. All kinds of blessings. Man's faithfulness will attract God's faithfulness. Many want God to be faithful, but they are not faithful. Many are praying, Lord, prove your faithfulness in my life. And God is asking, are you faithful to me? 
Four aspects to maintain faithfulness. Number one, in your personal work with God. Your personal work with God. Thank God for corporate engagement, corporate anointings. You know, like in a setting like Covenant University, we are blessed with corporate. Corporate prayers, prayer force, chapel service, <coughs> service unit meetings. Corporate. But what will validate and sustain you is your personal work. He said, if, the, if your strength fails you in the days of adversary or adversity, that means your strength is little. Things will come to test your strength. Challenges of life will come to prove you. But your personal stand with God is what defines your ultimate end. Your personal stand. Please hear this. Don't shift your stand because you change your location. And this is for all outgoing chapel, chaplaincy workers. Don't shift your stand because your location has changed. Don't let this fire quench because you are no more in Covenant University. Genesis 19, verse 27. Abraham stood before the Lord as one man. He had a personal relationship with God. This walk with God is a walk till the end. Till the end. Till the end. Refuse the achiever's mentality. Refuse it. Don't let people clap you into obscurity. Don't let them clap you into obscurity and let your light go out. They hail you. Hey, hey, it's good. But don't let men clap you into obscurity. Maintain your stand with God. Number two. Another component where we must maintain our faithfulness is in feeding on the word. Feeding on the word. The strength of a believer is a direct function of the quality of the word at work in his life. Feed on the word. Matthew chapter 4 verse 4. Feed on the word. Make it personal. Too many take care of the outer body. We don't take care of the spirit man. We feed our bodies. We don't feed our spirit. The food of the spirit is the word of God. Thy word was found and I did eat them. Jeremiah 15, 16. God's word is spiritual food. Feed on the word. Feed on the word. For those of you still on campus, feed on the word. The more of the word you have, the more stable your Christian adventure. Number three, maintain a personal prayer life. 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 17. Maintain a personal prayer life. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. You have to pray without ceasing. Finally, number four. Maintain your service in his vineyard. Maintain your service in his vineyard. You get out of covenant university, no matter the church, local assembly, you find yourself... Plug into service. Keep adding value where you find yourself. You, are, you get to NYSC. Keep adding value. Keep adding value. We all need grace. And that's what I'll pray for everyone here tonight. We all need grace. Acts 26 and verse 22. Hear what Paul the Great said. Having obtained help from God, I continued. I continued. I continued. We all need the grace of God to continue our stewardship. And everyone here tonight, you are returning with that grace. Jump on your feet and shout aloud, Amen.